Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about uh, the default access modifier and how it applies to methods. I'm going to open up my browser to javacjava.com, select menu, Java OOP tutorials. I'm going to scroll down to default method. Default, which is package private access applied to a method. When no access modifier exists in a method declaration, the following default package private access is granted. Full access is granted to invoke the method from within the same package. Things to think about. Be mindful of the class access type. A standard outer class can only have either public or default access. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll down here to this. Source code, hit control C or right click and select copy. Move the browser off screen here. I have a shortcut to my command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really quick by going new shortcut CMD, next and finish. Let's open up our command prompt, type in Java C should see a bunch of stuff scroll by. If you get an error message, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java Development Kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash. CD is short for change directories and backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory called Java here using the MD command. Now I already have it, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. I'm going to change directories to my Java folder, and this is what I call my working directory, and that's where I'll build all my packages or my tutorials and classes and put them all underneath here. I'm going to make a package called 1, so I'm going to make a corresponding directory called 1. I'm going to change to the 1 directory, and I'm going to notepad class1.java. Class1.java is going to be the name of my source code file here for this. I'm going to paste the source code in here, file and save. Basically, we have uh, package one, right? And we're going to be importing everything from the two packages, all those classes there. And I've got uh, a class one class down here with default no access modifier uh, act there. And I've got another method here with the default no access modifier. And it's going to display to the console here default method invoked in package one. All right. Um, up here in the class declaration, I'm going to demonstrate inheritance of the class one um, class down here by making it the superclass of the subclass tester. All right? And then when I do a new tester, when I instantiate tester and create a new uh, object out of that, a reference to an object, actually, I'll be able to um, use the dot operator to invoke the method one method down here and display that. So that'll demonstrate inheritance. Then on the next statement, what I'll do is I will uh, create a, a reference to a new instance of the class one object and use the dot operator to invoke the method one through reference, right? Okay, let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to change directories, cd space dot dot up one there, and I'm gonna make a directory called two. And I am going to change directories to the two folder. And I'm going to notepad class2.java. Okay. Bring my website back over here. Scroll down here. And paste this. So this is package two. And I've got a public class, class two, in here. And then a default access method two, right? Now because default access is um, is basically package level access, when we try to um, invoke this method too, we should get an error there. All right, let me even get a little ahead of myself here. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and we'll, we'll run the original stuff back here first. So let's come out here, save that. CD dot dot, Java C, one slash class one dot, oh, you know what? my screen clean this up. Let's compile the class one dot Java there and let's run it. Java will 
fire up the Java virtual machine and we want to run in the one package the tester method there. Okay, default method invoked in package one, default method invoked in package one. Okay, so we can see as we came into the main method here, that worked exactly like what we did, what we were uh, expecting there. We were able to invoke the method one using both inheritance and a reference with default package access down here on the method one method. All right, um, so let's go ahead and comment this, uncomment this. Comment that and that, and let's uncomment this. Okay, let's save this. All right, now what we're going to try to do is we are going to uh, extend class two. So class two will become the um, super class of tester. Tester will be the subclass. Let's come back here to class two and check that out. So I've got public class two, so we'll definitely be able to inherit it, but we won't be able, we're gonna get an error when we try to um, invoke the method two because this is package private here, default access. So only visible to package two, even though we can create an object out of the class two. So and then same thing here we'll just try we'll create a use the new operator create a reference to the class 2 object and then try to use the dot operator to invoke its method 2 method there okay so we should get a couple of errors here when we try to compile this okay so our first error is um cannot find symbol right so can't even see it right and then the next one here is Method 2 is not public in class 2, cannot be accessed from outside package, right? Okay, so got exactly what we were expecting there. I'm going to pull back up the website here. So when no modifier exists in a method declaration, the following default package private access is granted. Full access is granted to invoke the method from within the same package. Be mindful of the class access type. A standard outer class can only have either public or default access. If we were to change the access type in class 2 for the class to just default, right, we won't even be able to create our objects anymore. We'll get a whole different set of errors when we compile. Class 2 is not public and 2 cannot be accessed from outside the package when we try to extend it there, right? And then um, we get our... Uh, Let's see right down here, error, class two is not public and two cannot be accessed from outside package when we're trying to instantiate it right here with the new keyword there, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this, close out of that, close out of this. And um, I don't really have any final thoughts for the default access applied to the method. That concludes this tutorial, thanks for watching.